Unicorns and glitter and taxidermy critters are just some of the things they like. They also enjoy 80s hair bands, Grizzly Adams and John Goodman, so if you think that's weird then you can take a hike. But the things they enjoy the most are making art and cracking jokes. So without further ado, here are your hosts. You've got your two artsy gals, your two artsy gals. Here are your two artsy gals. Hey everybody, this is Katie. And this is Sharon. And you are listening to Two Artsy Gals. Woo hoo. Woo hoo. <laughs> My face hurts, so I'm not going to do a big woo. Oh, poor Katie. Nah, it'll be fine. I have an alley tooth, but I got the antibiotics now. I'll be good. Oh, good. Is it feeling better? Uh, not yet, but I only just took my second one. Oh, okay. We'll see. Before we get started, I just wanted to briefly update everybody on the progress uh, as far as the fundraising for some of our goals. So um, we are still about $45 short of our new storage, like upgrading our storage. So we really need to get that going because I think that we might be maxed out. We're like at like 85% now. So... You can go to our blog and click donate to donate to us. There's a donate button. It's been there for a long time. It's there. So if you donated to our Kickstarter, our failed Kickstarter campaign, and you and you want that money to go to us still, you can go to our blog and click donate and get it to us that way. And that would be super rad if you did. Nice. Right? Right? Yeah. Oh my gosh. There we go. Sorry if that made a noise when I moved my microphone. So I didn't hear a thing. Well, thank goodness, because it would have been a really obnoxious noise had it made a noise. Ah. I'm really fucking excited about this one, and I had so much fun researching it, because we are talking about using Tyvek mailers in your art, and making art from Tyvek mailers. And I haven't really done any of this. I always, like, do you want to explain what the Tyvek t- mailers are? Yeah. So if you don't know what a Tyvek mailer is, it's that stuff that you like when you when you use one of the priority mail envelopes, like that slickery, almost plasticky stuff. Ah, uh, yes. It's a synthetic fiber made by DuPont. It's actually <laughs> it's actually used for a lot of shit. Like I'm gonna link a video um from DuPont's website that says how they make it and stuff and some of the things they use it for. It's the funniest video because it's so like official sounding it made me giggle while i was listening to it it could just because it's funny i don't know it reminded me of sitting in high school listening to a film about something it was hilarious but maybe i'm the only person that will think it's funny it was pretty good it's also used as the stuff that they it's called house wrap so they huh. wrap it around the outside of your house it's like a vapor barrier between the plywood sheeting and than your sighting. Huh. So it's also used, uh, medical professionals use it for like disposable aprons and because it's waterproof, but it's still porous enough that it can be disinfected. And it's a pretty cool fucking substance. Awesome. And you can recycle. Now I am here to say, I'm not going to advocate you just going down to the post office and grabbing their free priority mail envelopes to use for art. Recycle your shit, man. Yeah, totally. Like if you're getting a lot of, cause I don't know, I do, a, we, I do a lot of mail art. So I get all kinds of weird priority mail envelopes and stuff. And I never throw that shit away because it can all be used. Yeah, totally. So you can also buy, because it's house wrap, you can buy rolls of it at Home Depot. But that's a lot of Tyvek. (laughs) Like a lot. But you might even be able to go to like, if you see construction workers somewhere doing something on a house or a house being built, uh, they might give or sell you scraps. Oh, yeah, for sure. Just go ask them. Say, hey, I'm a poor starving artist and I would like to use some of your Tyvek. And they will say, hey, that's one less thing to go in the dumpster. Have some. It will be great if you took this. 
And I've actually, cool. I've not, some of these things I've done, some of them I have not done. Um, this episode was actually suggested to us a long time ago by super listener Lois. Does <laughs> she know that she's super listener Lois now? I think she does. I don't know. She must. She's super listener Lois. And she sent us a tutorial. I'm going to post pictures of her examples and we're going to talk about. Well, let's just talk about it right now. Off the top okay. of the show. Because it's a really cool texture technique. And you can use this in all different kinds of mixed media applications once you have created this awesome bit of textury goodness. I seen it done because I saw a few tutorials, but I think the consistent, pretty consistently, it's done the way Lois did it. So you take your sheet of Tyvek, like your envelope that you're recycling, and you cut it open. So you have your uncolored side, and you're going to paint on it with um, acrylic paints. I have found the coolest looking uh way to do it is to use something with like pearlescent or metallic paint so cool because it makes it look it gives that you know i'm you know i'm about the fucking sparkles anyway but it gives (laughs) it a real extra sheen it kind of adds something to it so you just kind of paint your tyvek paper kind of abstracty all you're doing is looking for the color Mm -hmm. so you might do a few different colors and smoosh them together and whatever. So you have, and you let it dry. So you have this piece of crazy painted Tyvek now that's all dry. And Lois used parchment paper. So you put this between two sheets of parchment. So it'd be like cooking parchment paper. You buy it on the big roll at at your local grocery store. I'm sure everybody knows what it is. So you stick your piece of Tyvek color side down between these two pieces of parchment paper and then you're going to run your iron you're not going to touch it you don't want to put your hot iron directly on it and use your crafting iron not your clothing iron like i think it's pretty important to have two different irons in your house oh yeah like for one sure. that you use for shit that like an iron you don't care about getting weird shit on and then your important iron that you only touch to cloth you're going to put your iron almost on the Tyvek, but not quite. And as soon as the Tyvek, it it, it melts rather than catching on fire. Mm-hmm. So you're going to just run it over. I'm doing the hand motion right now like someone can see me. It's so hilarious. <laughs> I'm just looking at myself going, oh, my God, you're such a fucking dork. <laughs> <laughs> so you run it over the Tyvek and pretty soon you're going to see it start to like bubble and pull and melt and so you kind of try to do that evenly over it and then push down on the parchment as you go to kind of keep it from balling up Uh you want to keep it nice and flat and once you take the heat away and i have a video of someone doing this so i'm going to post it so don't worry she uses some kind of crazy silicone i don't know what uh to cover it instead of parchment so just in your mind insert parchment you don't have to have that crazy shit but when you turn it over, it makes the coolest, bubbliest, like awesome textured piece of Tyvek. And you can sew with it. You can wow. Sew it. You can sew it into things. It's amazing. It makes the coolest texture ever. I think that I have an, another artist trading card swap coming up here for our mail art group pretty soon. And Ooh, I, think that I know I'm what gonna, you're going to use. Yeah, I'm going to use that. I'm going to do a little bit of experimenting with that. That's awesome. It really does. And it appeals to this like little tiny, I don't know, crow or something that lives in my brain that goes, oh, shinies. Oh, <laughs> shinies. I, I do it. It's bad. I just go, oh, like, I wonder if you could use it like you could make like, uh, like covers for books. Oh my God, dude. Or like seriously. some pages in books. I have a friend. Because you like to make books. I do too. And no, I mean, you do. Oh, I thought you said you do. And I'm like, well, I do too. That's awesome. <laughs> no, I have a friend who I, I did a, a swap years ago and she actually made her book, like the cover of her book from Tyvek. Oh, cool. Like she just sewed it. And that's awesome. Like you can, yeah, you can use it in, I'm just going to say you could use Tyvek in anything mixed media art, like experiment with it because 
You can paint on the stuff. You can draw on it. You can stamp on it. You can emboss it. Like I said, you can sew it. So you can like, if you're doing a mixed media collage pieces or artist trading cards book covers or anything like that you can sew it into things you can sew on it as part of the art you can sew other things onto it you can glue it like it's a really versatile substance yeah it's awesome use recycle if you're using recycled ones odds are it's going to have some pretty cool texture to it anyway like Mm -hmm. you know it's been crunkled around in the mail and it's kind of bumpy and whatever so you're going to have this pre-textured anyway even if you don't want to do the texturing now i've also seen this texturing method done with a heat gun but i think that it took a little bit longer to achieve the same bubbling with the heat gun and you're working over a smaller area Mm -hmm. so if maybe it would work for just like a little tiny piece you wanted to do it with but if you're going to do a bigger sheet of it i would definitely recommend using your iron just to save time Mm -hmm. You don't want to be sitting there all goddamn day holding your heat gun. No. Because, you know, your arm might get tired and shit. (laughs) It would suck. I hate it when my arm You could build, like, some sort of stand for your arm. Or maybe just do some push-ups so your arm doesn't get tired. No, I've got some pretty strong upper body strength. Like, I've got, I think that I'm kind of wimpy, but I'm really not. Yeah. And my arms get tired, too. Dude, I picked up my, we were at my sister-in-law's last weekend And everybody was making fun of my dog and saying how fat he is. I'm like, look, he might be a little on the chubby side, but he, it's time for his, his summer haircut. Yeah. Like he's got these fluffy, big, giant, fluffy curls and it does make him look a little thicker. He might've put on a little weight over the winter, but let's not be rude to the dog. But anyway, I said he only weighs 30 pounds and my sister was like, sister in law was like, no way. He weighs more than that. And I'm like, no, he fucking doesn't look. And I picked him up and she goes, she couldn't lift him. She couldn't lift him? She's like, I don't know how you pick him up like that. I'm like, you need to fucking lift some weights, yo. You need to get some fucking upper body strength. What the fuck? (laughs) It's 30 fucking pounds. That's funny. Like, I lift 30 pounds without even thinking about it. That is funny. (sighs) Hook angry. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. Anyway. In addition to all these awesome mixed media applications, like seriously, when I was looking for examples and researching my brain, I had trouble falling asleep because I was thinking oh, about all so the many cool ideas. shit that you could do. I was like, oh my God, I could do this. Oh my God, I could totally do this. Wait, I could totally do this. Well, if you can just sew it, I mean, you could make bags, aprons. It just seems like it's really endless on what you can make. Dude, you can make a ton of shit i locked and and again we have a pinterest now and i'm so excited we finally decided to do this and i'm kind of thinking we were dumb for not doing it sooner so i'm gonna go back and try to make uh pinterest boards for old episodes too yeah because it's so much easier to tell everybody what we're fucking talking about when we could just say go check out the pinterest board for this show yeah, you know what would be a really neat little project to make out of it is um, my son has uh, he, a pattern to make fabric bowls. Holy shit balls. That would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Okay. So one of the things that I saw that people are making with these and I just about fucking shit myself and you're going to love this, Sharon. They're making beads out of it. Oh, awesome. So what they're doing is they're painting different strips And they're like, put like a fat strip of one color and then a skinny strip of another color. And then they're like tightly wrapping them with like, they're wrapping them kind of like on a, on a piece of dowling or a chopstick or, you know, a skewer. So they're, I mean, I would imagine you could just keep going smaller and smaller and they're wrapping them really tightly and then they're securing them with like a stick pin. And some people are even wrapping, wrapping like sparkly threads in it and, other things and then they hit it with the heat gun and it melts around that and then they just slide it off and it makes the coolest really textured awesome fucking i know right i'm looking that up right now so making some of those and we have there are pictures and tutorials of that on the pinterest board because i was like oh my god that is and it makes the coolest they're like all textured and 
you know I'm what I Jones for like textile arts, and this is kind of in that realm because technically it's kind of a textile. Oh my god! Seriously, I I I looked at that and I thought I wanted to call you, but I knew you would be in bed. I was like. I wonder if it oh my was, god! Maybe I should call just in case she's still awake. Ah! <laughs> but I thought, no, she's she gonna go. Why are you it. calling me? Oh my god! Those are rad. Oh my god, they're so pretty. And again, metallic paints, yo. It's what you have to do. Wow, they're so gorgeous, aren't they? Yeah, there's a great picture of a lady making. Yeah, making one. Wow. Oh my god, I knew you were going to that. Sorry, I'm just moving and awing at these pictures and nobody can even see what I'm moving and awing at. But they need but to go like to somebody made like so some crocheted little handbag and then they just put the Tyvek beads like as decoration mm-hmm. on. Dude, they're amazing. What's they that are. the kids are saying amaze balls. I actually don't think they're saying that anymore. I think they've moved on to other <laughs> obnoxious things, but they're amazing. They rad. Uh, rad is coming back. Oh, I've been using rad forever. I no, think that I, I might be solely just... responsible for the resurgence of the word rad. <laughs> I've been forcing it for a while. Yeah. My son wow. still rolls his eyes. This is I great think, stuff. But... Oh my fun. God, I know it. It's out of control. But I also in our blog, because I'm going to move on to shit you can sew with this stuff. Mm-hmm. On our blog, I'm going to post a link to the sewing and washing instructions for Tyvek because DuPont is awesome and they know people use the shit for stuff like that. They posted instructions for that on their website. It's a whole PDF. Wow. That's awesome. So it tells you like what setting to put your sewing machine on and what kind of needle to use and all that shit. Because if you're looking at the Pinterest wall right now for this, Sharon, you can see the, the quilting applications I'm actually not. I just looked up the beads. Oh, my God. So quilters are using this stuff in their really beautiful art quilts. And I have to take my hats off to anyone who quilts because I do not have the patience for that. I sew. I make clothing. I make costumes. For the life of me, I cannot fucking quilt. I'm just too impatient and it's too precise. Yeah, it's pretty intense. Dude. I, like, want to just have my son make a bag for 4-H out of this stuff. Seriously? Okay, so there are a couple. There's a tutorial for making a drawstring bag with this stuff. You can make uh, zipper pouches, like little pouches with zippers. Uh, I saw someone make reusable lunch bags, like, so sandwich bags and stuff. Oh, wow. Because you can just rinse it off, set it out to dry, and then reuse it again the next day. You can make a lunch bag with it. Like, wow. honestly, just search. If you want to sew something out of it, search for it. And I'm sure there's a pattern for it. I am going to put a couple of templates and patterns up on the blog, links to them for making things. But there are, like, seriously, type in Tyvek bag or Tyvek handbag, and you're going to find a million different cool fucking bags that people have made. Because this is all custom shit. You're painting it the way you want it. So it's your fabric. Like you made the design and then you're making something out of it. People are going to be like, what? Where'd you get that? Wow. Oh, that's another uh, awesome place to find Tyvek is because they also make uh, painters use Tyvek jumpsuits, like Uh like overalls, and then they just throw them away. So you can also get those and it's a little bit uh, thinner. Like, it comes in different weights and stuff. I think that the mailing bags are pretty expensive. And if you also, if you don't have, I'm backtracking a little bit, but if you don't have uh, priority mail things that you can recycle, you can also just go to the office supply store and buy a box of Tyvek mailers. And that's Uh what they're called, Tyvek mailers. So please don't go to the post office and steal all the free things. Yeah. Like, those are there because people you know, eventually use them and pay for shipping. But like my post office is a little bit fucking crabby about that kind of stuff. Yeah. Like if they say you see you take too many of them, they get pretty bitchy and it is kind of at their expense. Right. So 
You know, did you totally? Know they don't. My post office won't put the uh, priority mail stickers out for free anymore. You have to go to the counter and ask for them. Oh, that's funny. I just order mine online, and then the mailman just brings them. Yeah, I do that too. But the, they don't actually bring. Um, I can't find the priority mail stickers online anymore. It's because, and I want to do a show about these. Oh, people, they don't. People make slap art out of them, so they're using them to make stickers and paint their art on them. And then instead of vandalizing things by spray painting, they go slap their art around town. I'm sure you've seen them somewhere and just don't realize that you've seen them. Well, yeah, but I didn't know that. Like now, I'm thinking because I mail, I use those to um, when I'm mailing my shipping out my eggs. Mm-hmm. I use those stickers because it's a good way to mark. Like if I've individually bubble wrapped an egg, then I put that on them because I am sending it priority mail. Yeah. But I sent, put it on each one of them so that they know, like they can grab that one. They know that they aren't missing an egg. Yeah. Like you, they can see it better. No. Yeah. They, you have to ask for them at the counter, at least in my post office. And the last time I asked for a stack of them, I got the grumpy man that works there. I know I've talked about him before on the second show because he's an old asshole and he makes me mad every time he has to wait on me. Like I've pretended that I had I forgot something in the car or I forgot to grab something and let someone go ahead of me because I knew I, he was going to be taking the next person in line. Uh-huh. And because I don't like him. But I had to ask him for somebody because what you using it for? And I'm like, "Um, um, I'm, I'm mailing things priority." And he goes, <laughs> You're not going to go stick them all over the outside of the post office, are you? Because the last time someone came and got a bunch of these, they they stuck them all over the outside of the post office. And I said, uh, I'm 42 years old. Do I look like someone that's going to go stickering up the outside of the post office? And apparently, what did he say? I don't know. He just looked at me and handed them to me all crabby like, how many do you want? Oh, my I God. I was going to say, do you look like make... somebody that would just be like, and stick I, yeah, them on? I'm, yeah, right? Maybe he <laughs> thinks that my tattoos and piercings are indication of professional level hooliganism. I don't know, but. Oh, my God. And the funny thing is, I was actually getting them because I was making slap art stickers. So, <laughs> <laughs> fuck off. No. <laughs> anyway. That's funny. The whole point in that little I don't know, rant was because I don't want people to, I don't want people doing that. I don't want to condone that. Just buy them at the office supply store or recycle the ones that you get in the mail. Yeah, recycle. So, reduce, reuse, recycle. You got to reduce, reuse, recycle. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Oh, sorry. A little that Jack Johnson there for you. Thing? Was that, is that Jack Johnson for real? Yeah. Oh. I didn't know, know that, that song. That. No, I don't know that song. I like Jack like... Johnson, kind of. Yeah. I like that one yeah. album with Brush Fire Fairy Tales on it. Oh, yes. That's a good one. But I don't They're know. all good. You're so funny. Well, look it up. I'm gonna. Oh, my God. I got on the bus the other day. Total sidebar, but it freaked me out. Did you see the link to the song that I posted on Facebook earlier this week? No, I don't usually um, listen to any of the songs when people post so, them. I take the TriMet Lyft bus, which is a door-to-door ride service. And those buses are small and they are equipped with radios and the drivers are allowed to listen to radio stations Uh uh-huh and they jam their fucking tunes and so except for this one guy listens to talk radio so i have to listen to lars larson when i ride with him and if you live locally you know who lars larson is and how (laughs) sad it is that i have to listen to lars larson but anyway this lady is apparently a big jazz fan and she played something from like 1960s it was 60s jazz but it was like the song is like about rhyming with maroon about what rhyming words with the word word maroon so it's like maroon baboon rhyme with maroon do it soon and this weird jazzy music it was so fucking i felt like i was in a weird Quentin Tarantino movie and something really bad was about to happen. (laughs) Like it made me, you know how he does these like little weird surreal, like, have you ever seen four rooms? Yes. Okay. It's kind of like the lobby music for four rooms or something. And I was like, Oh my God, somebody's going to do something fucked up any second. And I'm going to be stuck in the middle of it. Oh my God. It freaked me out. (laughs) I'll post a link to the song so everybody can hear it. Cause it was fucking weird funny it was very strange but 
I'm also, speaking of videos and stuff that I'm going to post, I'm going to post a tutorial video on how to fold an origami wallet out of Tyvek. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, my God. That would be such a cool project for Sterling to do, too, You're for like 4-H or something. I don't yeah. know. Because Tyvek is really durable. Yeah, so it totally. It lasts for fucking ever. And it's cool. This this um, It's a little slow, the video. Because the guy talks a lot and he explains a lot. But you can just, like, the cool thing I like about learning origami stuff on video is that you can pause it. So you're just watching what he's doing. You can pause until you get caught up and then keep going. But you can make a wallet out of Tyvek Mailer and you can paint it and do whatever you want to it. And it is awesome. So you should totally do that. I was thinking, how much fun would it be to give those gifts? Or even if you have, like you know your kids are bored you'd be like kids let's do this it'll be fun or you could make them as gifts for people oh yeah like tyvek wallets yeah that's uh, that sounds really i want to do those i even saw also people were used they made tyvek tyvek planters oh cool they just they made would these... hold water yeah they had plants in them. They have like different size bags with like the, that they'd made with the sides folded down and they're all in these little groupings on their porch. It was really cute. So I knew, I thought you would like this one because it's all about recycling. Yeah. Not that I don't recycle because I am the recycling Nazi around our house. But <laughs> like I get mad at Kurt the other day. He threw something away and I'm like, why is this in the garbage? <laughs> this goes <laughs> in the recycling. You can't do that. <laughs> makes me mad that's my friend leslie at everywhere she goes is pretty buddy i just do because we only we 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 reduced our garbage pickup to once a week yeah so look or i mean not once a week once a month so we only have garbage come pick up the truck only picks up our garbage garbage once a month so you can sure as hell bet i'm recycling the shit out of everything i can yeah no kidding fuckers so yeah (laughs) i've i think that I think we're done. Okay. <laughs> I'm so fucking just out of it right now. But yeah, you can sew the shit. You can sew zipper pouches in it. Oh, you can. I was going to say somebody made a really cute aprons, like just disposable aprons. Cute. Out of it also. So seriously, I'm not even kidding you. Just say, okay, I wouldn't wear them for like pants or a skirt. But just as an example, go like Tyvek skirt. You're going to find fucking instructions on how to make a Tyvek skirt online because people make everything out of this stuff i can see prom dresses being made oh fuck yeah if people make duct tape prom dresses which sounds horribly uncomfortable yeah did you see the girl that made one out of starburst wrappers yes it was God. awesome it was awesome so yeah check it out use some tyvek for all kinds of cool shit man it's awesome so we have we have a listener mail kind of oh we have just a listener comment from our um our Facebook page. So we have a new fan this week, Keely Rajman. I think I'm pronouncing her last name right. And she posted, oh my God, I fucking love you too. Husbeast, which is what she calls her husband, which is awesome. Husbeast asked what I was listening to. And when I told him, he asked if I was sure because you swear as much slash more than I do. You too rock. <laughs> Well, we think you rock, Keely, because we you like fucking anyone rock. who swears. Yeah, fuck yeah, you fucking rock. Fucking A. <laughs> fuck. That was awesome. So if you guys want to email us or put a message on our Facebook wall or anything, we love hearing from you. So seriously, uh, you can email us, twoartsygals at gmail.com. You can comment on our Facebook wall. We are on all of the social medias. Go to our blog and you can get a direct link from the little fancy buttons to whatever, Instagram, Twitter, anything. YouTube. We have a YouTube channel. We're not putting a lot of videos up right now because of technical difficulty and whatnot, but there will be more eventually. Um, And we have a voicemail line now. So you can call us at 503-395-7190 and leave us messages if you don't want to type an email. And also, just a reminder, uh, Sharon's last show is coming up, not next week, but the week after. So if you want to call and leave her sad goodbye messages or happy goodbye messages, you can call the number and we'll play them on that show. Oh, so contact I really us. I like it. Do it. Sharon would love it. 
So next week, speaking of sharing loving things, we're going to be back and we're going to be talking about nature crafts because that is Sharon's jam. Woohoo! And we're going to be listening to her tell us all kinds of cool shit about that. So you can also make sure to follow us on iTunes or Stitcher so you always get new episodes and also leave us cool feedback because then people will look at you the feedback or the ratings and go like, hey, these guys are cool. And then more people will listen to us. So yeah, until next week, go make some cool shit, yo! Yo! Bye!